Hello again and welcome to the Larry Shiat Show. It's all presented by Union Wireless as we come to you right here from the Cowboys home floor at the beautiful Arena Auditorium. And the Cowboys wrapped up non-conference play, began conference play all last week with a game against Western State right here in the AA and then at Nevada at the Lawler Event Center against Nevada. And Coach, uh, I know the pre-conference season wrapped up. Cowboys played a tough, tough schedule in that pre-conference schedule, but uh, what about it? How do you think the Cowboys came out of it? Dave, we did that on purpose. We knew we had lost our three leading scorers, uh, Gilmore and Martinez and Washington, and I wanted to get these guys not only on the road against some top 20 teams, but I wanted to get these guys in some competitive atmospheres. The only regret is that we played very competitive in those big elite games, and we were close enough in some of our other games that we didn't get a chance to experiment as much as we would have liked with our 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th player. That just goes with the territory. We played, I thought, as inspired as we could, especially on the road against Ohio State, Colorado, um, Denver, South Dakota. Uh, those were games that I knew we were going to be in environments that would get us used to the Mountain West. Absolutely, and that leads us to the Mountain West as the Cowboys wrapped up non-conference play at nine and four, then it's off to Nevada as they would go to Reno to take on the Nevada Wolf Pack. This is a very much improved basketball team, the Nevada team. You knew going in it was gonna be a tough game. The Nevada team had had some bumps early in November, but they got a young man eligible just before our game, A.J. West, who's improved each game. He hurt us on the offensive glass. I thought the tempo of the game was to our liking. We were able to use a little bit of a zone defense to slow up Deontay Burton's effectiveness. The game came down as it did on the road to South Dakota and it did on the road to Denver where we could get the ball into Nance with five or six seconds to go to win the game. We came up short. I don't want our guys to feel like 39 minutes and 55 seconds were a total waste. They were competitive on the road and you know what? It's a game we could have, should have, we got to move on to the next. Yeah, 61-58 the final. The Cowboys next up next week. We'll have New Mexico here in the Arena Auditorium. Then it's on the road to Boise State. Why don't we move along here and coming back, we'll have our play of the week. Stay with us. That's coming up next. Smartphones, your connection to the world. The possibilities are unlimited and your plan should be too. With unlimited cube from Union Wireless, get talk text and high-speed data without limits only from Union Wireless Welcome back everybody to uh, a fun segment of the show. We get a chance to meet a cowboy and today our special guest is Jerron Granberry, who's uh, the old man of the team. <laughs> He's already graduated from college uh, in his master's program. Talk to us a little bit about uh, how you got to Wyoming, Jerron. Oh, uh, well, you know, this is a question I get asked frequently yeah. and uh, it was basically just because of Junior, you know, longtime friend, best friend still. You know, I told him, you know, if you want me here, it's a done deal. And I felt like it was God's setting and God's plan for us to be together so I could, you know, have my one year with a special friend and have a special year. Of course, now as a, a master's program, is it uh, easier to budget time with a master's program than it was during your undergraduate days with basketball? Well, you know, I don't have to wake up before 10 anymore, so that's pretty good. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's just like going to school as an undergraduate, undergraduate, just I think a lot more research you know, and a lot more studying, but it's nothing that I can't handle. Obviously, uh, you were attracted to the coaching staff because of your experience and you're a veteran player. Uh, was it much of an adjustment uh, in this program and this way of doing things uh, from when you were at North Florida? Uh, you know, a lot, a lot, our, our right coach from North Florida is a, you know, a successor of Coach Shiat, so we knew a lot of things, but a lot of different things, a lot of different terminology and different plays and different settings, but these guys have just made it easier and, you know, they've taken their time with me and understanding and being patient with me so I could, you know, catch on board with other guys. Of course, uh, you've gotten a little bit of, of uh, a touch of 
Mountain West play uh, last Saturday at Nevada, and that uh, w there's no doubt a much more physical game than probably most of the non-conference games. Uh, and now it's the the Lobos, the team picked to win the league in the preseason. Uh, your thoughts uh, on New Mexico as they come in Wednesday? You know, honestly, I haven't seen much film about them, and this is my first year in the conference, so I've never really heard about it. I know they're a great team. You know, I know they're picked to win the Mountain West. I know they have to play a year, and I know they have two bruisers down there who are pretty good. <laughs> You know, so, but, uh, you know, coaches, the coaches are going to have us prepared. I think we're going to be prepared to play, and we're ready for battle on Wednesday. What, uh, as you look at your role on this team, Jerron, what, uh, what do you feel like you bring to the team? What is your role? Well, I definitely think energy off the bench, you know, uh, with my three-point shooting ability to spread the court so Nance and Cook can get easy down there. But uh, just, you know, being a leader, you know, as you said, being a fifth-year senior, I could provide leadership to the younger guys who are, this is their first year or second year, and tell them, you know, around the ropes, even though I haven't been in this type of situation before, I know what it's been like to be a freshman, a sophomore, a junior, and, and how to handle different situations. Of course, if fans have been in this building uh, for a Wyoming home game, they've probably watched you in the pregame. So I'm going to ask you about this because I know it, uh, it is something that you've started to do as, as uh, an every day, uh, every game thing before introductions. What got you going on this uh, pregame, and, and why do you do it uh, right before the introduction of starting lineups? Well, it all started as a one-time thing. You know, I felt like a team came in our house and they kind of disrespected us. You know, stomped on our court and you know we just not respectful at us. And that really irritated my irritated me. So I just wanted to let my team know that you know I'm ready to battle with them. And then as the games got on, they're like, "Hey, are you gonna do your speech?" And I was just <laughs> like, "Well, if you want to, you know." So every day I have to come up with a new theme or a new a new type of topic to get these guys hype. Is it, uh, is it difficult for you to come off the bench? Uh, has that been an adjustment for you? Uh, no, you know, it's actually fun. You know, I get to see what's, actually, what's going on and how the other team is playing. And, you know, it's just a different, I mean, it's different. But it, to say that I don't like it or I don't enjoy it, no, because my team, my goal is just to win and to get to the big dance. And if that's what I have to do, then i gladly do it. Well, we're happy to have you at Wyoming. Uh, we wish you the best of luck on the basketball floor and with your master's program. Thank you. All right, Jerron Granberry, Dave Walsh will be right back after these messages. When you book at FlyFrontier.com, you get great stuff. Like exclusive fares, more miles. A free carry-on. You even get to pick your seat. And everyone likes to pick their seat. I know I do. Once I picked my seat right smack dab in the middle of... Stop. Stop. Grizz, we're talking about picking your seat on the plane. Wait, you pick your seat on the plane? Now that's disgusting. Get more perks, lower fees, and a free carry-on. Book today at flyfrontier.com. And welcome back to the Larry Shiat Show as we broadcast right here in the beautiful Arena Auditorium. A couple of big Mountain West Conference games coming up for the Pokes this week. Games two and three on the Mountain West Conference schedule. The Cowboys will host New Mexico here on Wednesday night, 7 o'clock the tap time. Then it's on to Boise State for a Saturday night game against the Broncos. That also a 7 o'clock tap time. Cowboys right back into conference play two big games and we have a couple of coaches here that can get us all clued in on the Cowboys next two opponents first of all the associate head coach of the Wyoming Cowboys Scott Duncan is with us and assistant coach Alan Edwards is here to break it all down for us and uh, uh, fellas these are two very big games they're all big in the Mountain West Conference it picks up a little bit they're all mm -hmm. so important and uh, New Mexico coach Duncan is well they see they've won the last two regular season conference championships. Uh, they were picked to finish first in this league for a third consecutive year. They're very good. Tell us a little bit about the Lobos this year. What will they bring to the Arena Auditorium? Well, a lot of the same players, uh, Dave, that have won the last two championships. Uh, they're, they're, they're the biggest team in the league. They have a seven foot, 270 pound center, Alex Kirk, three year starter, very, very good player, probably an NBA player. Uh, and then they have the most improved player maybe in the nation, Cameron Bairstow, about 6'9", 250, 
He's been a starter on and off for the last two years, but he's really come on. He's averaging close to 20 points a game, and he is by far the best power forward uh, in the Mountain West, and maybe the best power forward in all of the West. Very, very good. And then Kendall Williams is the reigning player of the year in the Mountain West. He's back for his senior year. So between those three guys, they're three of the best players in the conference. And then Greenwood, who has been a starter since he was a freshman, runs the show for them. Very, very solid player, very good player. He's the one that hit the game-winning shot last year against us here. So we have our hands full on Wednesday, and um, we'll have to play at our very best. You know, Coach, as I look back on the Wyoming-New Mexico games the last couple of years, they've all been very, very close, very competitive. Uh, and in the Cowboys, I must, uh, I must think they have a bit of confidence, feel confident going into this game. Uh, would, do you get that feeling? Absolutely. Uh, you know, we have played very well this season, better this season than last year when we were ranked at this time. We've actually played better because the competition has been a lot better. So uh, playing New Mexico, playing Ohio State, playing Colorado, uh, we've been in all of those games, had a chance to win all those games. So uh, I think the confidence level of our players, especially playing at home, uh, is very good. And it'll come down like it always does to the last three or four minutes of the game and who executes the best. So the Cowboys and the Lobos at 7 p.m. right here in the Arena Auditorium on Wednesday night. Then the Cowboys head over to Boise, Idaho to take on the Boise State Broncos. And Coach Edwards, here's a team that was picked, I think, tied for second in the preseason balloting. So they're, they're very highly thought of, I, I should say, going into this game. And uh, they're playing very, very well. Now you have to, the Cowboys have to go play them in Boise. What do we know about the Broncos at this point in the season, Coach? Well, I think they're a very talented team, especially uh, on the offensive end of the floor. Uh, and when you talk about them being picked second uh, to finish this, finishing this league, it, it's for a reason. Um, they have all five of their starters uh, returning from last year's team, actually their top seven uh, from last year's team, and they're leading the league uh, in offensive uh, production. And they have some uh, pretty talented players, and they shoot the ball very well. <clears throat> and I'm sorry, and I also feel like they have a mixture of penetrators, shooters, and a, a good low post presence. So uh, when we go on the road into their uh, environment, yes, uh, it, it'll be another tough uh, competition. And like Scott said uh, about New Mexico, I think it'll be a, a hard fought game uh, back and forward. And I think uh, obviously if we uh, contain some of their key guys um, and, and hopefully have them have bad nights, uh, we can come out of there with a W. Well, I think, as you said, this is one of the teams in this league that is probably as talented as anyone else with the Loriaga and that can shoot like that. And Dremick, I know those two guys uh, very highly thought of going in. They might be one of the more talented teams top to bottom in this league, you I, think? I, I, I would probably agree uh, uh, with you uh, in a standpoint of uh, a difference in what New Mexico brings as far as the big, tough, big guys, though I think Buckner uh, is, a, is a big guy, but they're, they're probably more skilled. Uh, even the kid Derek Marks uh, brings a different aspect uh, to what they do well as far as being able to get to the basket. And then when you have a guy like Dremick on the wing and a guy like El Eloriaga on the wing, it's hard to help off of those guys. So it kind of opens up uh, gaps for him as well. And then um, uh, your big kid is, is, is extremely good getting on the offensive glass as well. You know, I know Yeah, these games are played at both ends of the floor. I understand that, but the big matchup in this Boise State game would be the Cowboy defense, I think still second in the conference uh, in defense, scoring defense. Against that Boise State offense, they will attack you. <laughs> yes, uh, I mean, and, and the, probably the best part about them is they, they're great in the half court, but they're even better in uh, transition. So our tra transition defense is going to have to be uh, tremendous as well. And then when the shot goes up, we have to rebound the basketball and then limit them to one opportunity. You bet. Well, that's the word from associate head coach Scott Duncan, assistant coach Alan Edwards on New Mexico and Boise State. Stay with us. We have more to come. We're back to wrap things up with head coach Larry Shiat on the Larry Shiat Show right after this. And welcome back to the Larry Shiat Show. It's all presented by Union Wireless and a big week coming up for the Cowboys 
as they will stay right here in the Arena Auditorium Wednesday night, 7 o'clock to tap time when the New Mexico Lobos come in. And then Friday, the Cowboys will travel to Boise, play Saturday night, 7 o'clock, the tap time against the Boise State Broncos. And uh, once again, I wanted to mention this is all brought to you by Union Wireless. That's exactly right, Coach. Big week coming up big week uh, against two very good teams. Let's see. I think New Mexico was picked uh, in the preseason to win the conference for what the third year in a row and Boise State was tied for second I believe in the balloting. So these are two very very good basketball teams. First the Lobos here in the Arena Auditorium. Big game. Big game last year's game. Great game. Uh, we tied it with 30 seconds to go. Stole the ball but got called for a foul during that steal and uh, Greenwood came up big and lost the game in the last second. So we got a little payback. We've had three very competitive games against them, two in the conference and then one in the conference tournament after we knocked off Nevada. So let's hope for a great crowd. Let's hope for a great night. Let's hope for a victory. Yeah, it's always a great game when the Cowboys and Lobos play. I remember it wasn't all that long ago when Paco Cruz hit a shot right over there, Coach, to, for the Cowboy victory. But uh, then next, Boise State, and this is another team in the conference that has just continued to get better and better, it seems, each year. And Boise showed a lot of people last year, including us, they could play small. They've used a six foot five interior player, and they've used Drimmick about as well as any that could. So they, they get you with four out, one in, complete opposite of this Lobo team, who's got tremendous talent and tremendous size and strength. Yeah, so two very big games coming up for the Cowboys this week. We invite you to come back next time around. We'll talk about those two games. We'll have some highlights on those. We'll talk about New Mexico and Boise State. That's going to do it for us here on the Larry Shiat Show, presented by Union Wireless. There you go. We'll see you next time. So long, everybody. smartphones, your connection to the world. The possibilities are unlimited and your plan should be too. With unlimited cube from Union Wireless, get talk, text and high speed data without limits only from Union Wireless.